Welcome back to another video and we are back circuit slash crit racing tonight and we are at glorious Goodwood. The sun is shining but it is a little bit windy so going to keep the old big nose out the wind tonight. I am number 101 and this will be my first race round Goodwood and I'm cacking my pants because I wasn't trying to be a hard man but I've entered the E123 race. Ooh, you're hard. Because the 3-4 was full so rest in peace my legs and i'm going to be hanging on for dear life but it's all good fun and good training and i'm going to hand you over to dad on the commentary for tonight's race so here we are then we are at the goodwood motor racing circuit a goodwood <laughs> legend mr lee smith any uh, advice for giorgio tonight then uh, lee what can we say i would say follow chris mcnamara and are you still the current champion of Farnham Town Centre? Yes. <laughs> so he's the longest champion of Farnham Town oh, yeah. Centre race. He will probably admit to the fact that there's been COVID for two years, but I think he's <laughs> held the, the title for three years. Can we one. have a scoop here? Are you defending? Yes. Yeah, he I'll be is there. defending yep. champion. Giorgio's decided to go the whole hog tonight. He's racing with the E123s. We're going to get some footage for you, so no messing around. Giorgio thinks that it's a good learning curve to get out there with the E category on here. Any words of advice I could give him is to make sure that you do not drop down through the field. It's really easy to lose one place at a time, and by the time you've done a couple of laps, you're at the back. So I told him to try and stay up the front as much as he can. We'll just see whether he listens and how he's going to play it. I know he's really nervous, but I have to say that he's road riding since he's been doing the... I know he's only done a couple of road races, but his confidence and the, the, the way he's been riding his road bike has just stepped him up another level, actually. You know, anyone that is thinking about going down, giving these things a go, you know, all of a sudden where he's never been quite too sure of himself he's just thinking well i can hold my own now uh, probably the famous last words tonight as uh, he'll probably fall off the back but uh, it is pretty fast round here so you're left with me today to do the video in the commentary the rocket cam is a not here today Giorgio has made me promise as the ladies are racing that i don't spend all night filming the ladies he told me that it's all about him there we go, the E's 1, 2 and 3's are lining up down there, they're just about to get on. Average speed around here is around about 29 miles an hour, so it's another step up. And there, off they go, so he's really going to have his work out, he's not particularly a well I say he's not a power monkey but he's improved so much and uh, just with the, the few races that he's been doing lately uh, that the confidence that he's gained in his road riding is is quite something. Someone's already off at the front there. Incredible. Giorgio made me promise not to um, video the ladies. He said tonight is all about him but uh, you know I lied. Naughty, naughty, you teasing me, you naughty, naughty. Wow, that's almost incredible. They're almost coming back round again. There's just a little chicane down there that slows them all up. I'm really worried for Giorgio tonight, actually. I mean, it's a real big step up round here for the speed. And uh, look at that, three of them off the front already, two chasing the rest of the peloton cut out. Oh, they're sitting up, look, already. Just not sure whether it's the right time to, to make a break. But yeah, there's uh, enough of them there actually to, to do it. And let's see if we can find uh, Giorgio. And uh, I didn't actually get a sit oh yeah there he is so he's still in the mix of it in that back little group there and then they go through there and this is the front of the e12 so probably about 10 of them away sigma sports riders there all looking around seeing what's going to go on and that's just going to give you some idea that that's how much so there's the rest of the group there so that's giving you some idea how far the elites have pulled away in in two laps another two away there but i don't think that's going to do them a lot of good to be quite honest and they're uh, just there so there's george so he's doing all right probably what i would expect you know he's not gonna have the power or the experience yet they go with the uh 
the elites and the ones, but it won't be long. A little breakaway going off at the side there. Giorgio's going to cover it. Good lad. This should be the E. One, two, threes coming through. This is the back end, so the front end are gone and off. And just going to see if Giorgio's still managing to hang in there. Yep, there he is. He's chasing a breakdown there, look. Good lad. Closing the gap, keeping it all nice and tight. So, yeah, he looks comfortable. He's having a bit of fun. He's got an hour and ten to do tonight. He might be feeling it a little bit later on. Just a little update there. I'm not sure what lap they're on, probably lap number five, but Giorgio just done a little bit of a work at the front there, uh, which is good to see. It's the only way to improve. The E boys, the elite boys are well up the road there. So there he is, he's sitting in fourth place there. It could even, if a couple of these go away, he could even get in a little break. So he's looking pretty strong and he's looking comfortable actually. So he's free wheeling there. I'm just wondering whether he's got enough because he's running a single speed setup. And I'm really wondering whether he's got enough gears there for going around this circuit to be able to not spin out. It's the leading E12s here. Just going through the chicane there. And they're chasing the back of the thirds and fourths now. So they'll be on their back wheels very, very shortly. I hear some shouting going on, so there's a little bit of whinging going on already. Everyone wanting people to take up the, the front and do the work. Coming through there, Giorgio sitting really nicely. Looking pretty good, so good lad. So here we go then. I think these guys have got two to go before they take the flag. Giorgio's sitting there. He's in about sixth place, looking good. I just feel that if they put the armor down a little bit, that little group there could just break away. But it's like everything, when it starts getting close to the end, no one really wants to sacrifice himself. Yeah, so Giorgio will be coming up the finish. He'll probably be telling you that next week he's back on the mountain bike. He's going to swap his drop handlebars for a set of straight handlebars. And it'll be really interesting to see uh, what the lap times are, and I'm sure he'll post up, let you all have a little look at, um, he hasn't been on his mountain bike for a long, long time. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens there. So next week he's back on the mountain bike. Oh no, they've got one to go with that. So someone's pulled away there, they've split it up a little bit. Oh no, there's Giorgio there. So he's just, get on the back! So yeah, a little break, just as I said actually, on the last lap, they did the paint on just around that bottom corner there. I did see Giorgio going with them, but he obviously didn't have enough power to go with them. So he's in the hurt locker at the minute. So he's only got to hold on for one more lap. He was looking in a sorry place there. Ed was down, but he's seen about, I can see him just around the back there. So he's in about sixth place. This is the ease here. Joe Hill wins. Joe that Hill. Joe Hill. Jack Freeman. Jack Freeman. Primera guy in third. Primera and guy, wherever you are in third, well done. Chris McNamara in fourth. And Chris McNamara. This is the last of the E12s coming in. And it'll just be, there you are, you can see him. The speed is absolutely tremendous there as well. It's just like put your head up your backside and pull the pin and, and go for it. So the first 10 of the E12s have gone through. So this is the third part, I suppose. It's split up into three. So this is the third part here. Big boys there just winding up. Some serious power there going through. And uh, not sure where Giorgio is. Uh, yeah, he's just gone through there, actually. So... So around about 10 at the back, not too shabby. Should be well pleased with that. He's going to be absolutely, completely spent and knackered. But he stepped up again and, uh, yeah, really proud of that. So good lad. And uh, we'll go and catch him after his cool down. Easy. <laughs> and here he comes, there's Giorgio. What does he think oh of that? How did that go? Way above my pay grade. <laughs> Save me at one point, but the front eye's like about to blow up. I like, came round. Like, I'm max effort in the wheels. Like, I'm not even joking. When someone moves over and I'm on the front, I'm like, 
I can't literally can't go faster than this. It's mental. That brake got away pretty quick, didn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, it did. I thought on the second to last lap there that you might break away there. I was wrecked. Yeah. Well, well done. Into the sprint, it was a bit, a bit cagey. I was a bit. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like, it's not worth it, is it really? I mean, I was trying as hard as I could, but it was like elbow to elbow. <laughs> happy to just yeah. stay in that group, I think it was about ten, you can, yeah in that group you I think you come across about 10 something like that in, yeah, in that was, line there so so it was good yeah it was hard no well done it's uh it's not easy especially at that level well done and that is my first circuit race at Goodwood complete mega fun super fast I think we averaged like 28 mile an hour something like that it was full gas but really good experience getting to race with the e123 so as you saw like a group of 10 got away and I don't quite have one the confidence and two the power to go with that I think always in the back of your mind when you're thinking if I do try and like go with them attacks there's a strong chance I'll blow up and it could end my whole race I think that'll just come with the more I do the more confidence I build but even so it's a bit like two separate races we had our bunch race and I finished in the bunch which was really good and you still get a serious workout in it was full gas and for me it's like as much as you want to win this year is mainly about building experience in road racing circuit racing and by pushing myself and going up into the e123 you get that exposure to the faster speeds the harder attacks and that is absolutely mega and hopefully going to help progress me even further but i hope you enjoyed the video it's really hard to make a video at goodwood circuit because you obviously only see the same start straight but i've tried the best i can and i'll catch you in the next one